Hi everyone, it's Simply Studying, and today we're back with a new video. So in this video, I will be setting up my pencil case for the new school year. I took a few months of a break, but now I am back. So I am heading into sixth grade, and even though some of us may be in person, some of us may be online, it's still important to set up. So the first thing I want to do is talk about pens. So personally, my favorite pen is the Paper Mate Ink Joy. So I'll be putting a lot of these pens in my pencil case. I think setting up a pencil case, a new my pencil case for the new year is super exciting and something I value and virtue every single year because it always seems to bring something new and different into the table. Then because for things like math, where I am not really allowed to use pens, I like to bring erasable pens because they're erasable and I'm allowed to erase my work and write in them. So it's really handy. And then I have the dollar store pens for emergencies because, to be quite honest, we never ever know what happens. So it's super important just to have some, even if it's cheap, just some spare ones in your pocket. And then I obviously, for math, also for when I'm correcting my problems and stuff, I like to have two very, like, colors that stand out. And for me, it's these colors, blue and red. So that's nice. Also, I have some color pencils. I actually bought a 24-pack, but I'm only putting these in my pencil case. The rest I have to keep in my cubby slash locker thing. It's kind of complicated. <laughs> Okay, we're halfway there. Pencils for emergencies, because I know how much my teacher hates me not having a pencil. So, personally, I don't like the ticks and tinker with the pencils. Uh, what am I saying? I honestly don't care, but I'm only including two, because again, I'm not a big pencil person, and I just would rather write in pen for the majority of class. And for emergencies, two extra. I'm trying to pick the ones with good erasers. And don't mind this sad, this sad thingy, because I probably will be using you last. And when I do, I'll probably just sharpen you. So I also am going to include an O5 micron and a, wait, I'm gonna, oh no, the O one's so small. I say, wait, which one is this? Oh, that's too thick, though. So I'm deciding between an O3, which is kind of thin, or an O2, which is super thin. I think I'm going to go with the O3. My two microns. I can't even remember what I was going to take. Okay, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Calm down. Calm down. So, we don't have that much in here right now. Okay, no need to worry. So, you guys know I'm literally obsessed with pens and stationery. So, it will not be a pencil case. We've got an excessive amount of everything. So, let's move on to the gel pens. My unknown and probably very dangerous obsession. I know. So, I have a gel pen for every single color of the rainbow, and probably a few more, and this is just my beginning, and these are not even gel pens, these are my ballpoint. Yeah. My gel pens are somewhere away, but I don't need them right now. So, here are my, all my ballpoint pens that I'll be including, because, I mean, I'm a little high bell, what do you expect? Then I have a pink pen because I think it's really cute and original and it writes really well. And then I have a white pen just to cover up any mistakes I use with a black pen because I don't have white out. Then I like to include a very basic 
calligraphy pen and it's really for traditional calligraphy but I just like having it there with me because sometimes I want to like underline something on black and that's thicker or like have a thick black marker so I like keeping this into with me because it is it serves as a good use in school and you're probably wondering you're talking like it's normal school well it's not i know it's virtual but i think it's always fun to try to make it as schooly as possible and i am going in person so this is these things are kind of needed but again even if you're going virtual try to make it as much as school year as you can possibly have it be because it's important and then i'm going to include my fake Muji pen because I can't tell if it's a real or not. If you guys do an OG in my, um, I got this as a gift. Wait, no, I didn't. I bought this off of Amazon, so I'm guessing it's not Muji. Um, if you were an OG from my Simply Studying channel and you're still here, first of all, thank you. And second of all, you know that we have a whole debate over whether this is real Muji or not. And I don't think it is now that I'm thinking about it. But I'm still kind of confuzzled. But, you know, it's good enough. It's a good enough pen, and it seems like Muji quality, to be honest. Cause people say Muji smudges a lot. This smudges, like, who knows? But, um, yeah. Also, we have a Muji in New York and order online, so. Maybe I might actually try some of their products. Who knows? Then I have the Uni Ball Oinks Stanford one. So I... I've been hearing from a lot of these YouTubers that the Japan version is so much better, and I, and I do probably agree, but I've never seen it, and because the American versions suck, um, so, but I always keep three because I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen, <laughs> especially in this school year, like you don't know. So also, I love you guys did a bunch of these so for some reason i only have one in my main thing and i put all my pastels with my super tips for no good reason so now i have to click out all and i only use my i don't think this is the pastel i have one extra i just put in there but i don't think it was a pastel oh look what i found a pen that i probably forgot to put in here so I don't want this pastel, you guys. Comment down below if this is a pack if it came in your pastel pack. I honestly cannot remember. So please help me in remembering. Or you can put it in the discussion tabs because I might I might I don't know. I might make this for kids. I'm not sure. Creator's choice, y'all, okay? So maybe. Who knows? But yeah, so many pretty pastels. Oh my god, that I will use for headings and just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff throughout the year. I'm insane. So now my pencil case is finally showing some bulk, which makes me happy. Also, headings. Do I want to do soft tip? I personally, everybody's like, please use hard tip. I stand soft tip, to be honest. I don't know why, I just do. So I'm either gonna use, so should I use soft tip or hard tip? I'm gonna use soft tip even though I use it more often at home than not. I think it's for quick headings, hard tip might be okay. Because I use soft tip for a lot of my crafts and um, stuff like that, so I'm gonna use hard tip. I bought just the two basic heading, cutter heading things. I don't know, it's evident to y'all. So, I obviously need this. I love, like, just going like this. I think it's super fun. I don't know. I often need a pencil sharpener that's already full. And I can just empty at school because I'm not going to get up right now. Right? Of course. So, if you guys forgot, it actually comes with two little pockets. Then I can put whatever I want in. So, that'll go in the first pocket. And then the second pocket. Ha, 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 sorry. No, but I always keep my pencil case, pencil sharpener in my first pocket. Yeah, okay. So, I wonder how deep, so it goes actually super deep, and I'm just realizing how deep this literally goes. Okay, whoa. So I can fit a lot in here. Whoa, wait, yo, this pocket is literally this big. Wait, this is amazing. How did I not know this? <laughs> so then I also have two erasers that I'll keep in the second pocket. Because oh, it is so deep. And then I got a, I don't know, like a, Emergency viral lotion because I feel like I always need it. I don't know. Now I'm gonna keep it in the first pocket with the hand sanitizer because it's super deep, so I can fit both. 
So that makes me happy. So we are done with the main compartment. So after figuring it out how to stuff a calculator here. Um, so now what you can see it's overflowing, ha ha ha. But now we have the classical this area. Ooh, with you. So I do need a, a tape. So here's the tape that I bought. Very basic. It's, I mean, it's scotch. What can I say? So put you in here. It fits pretty well. I mean, it's good enough for me. I'm a hectic person. I am sorry. Here. Let's just have a moment of silence for how much these have waited to be used in school. Because when I bought my pencil case and put all my supplies in it, it was right before quarantine, so I couldn't use it. Let's just have a moment of silence. Okay, I like talking. I don't know if that was long for you, but I mean, what can I say? It was long enough for me, and I mean, it's a new school year. I'm using them virtual or non-virtual. <laughs> so here, I'm just going to put them like in these little thingies, I guess. They're kind of pushing the tape up, but what can I say? Sometimes we have to like compromise to get everything to fit in here. So, I'm probably gonna have the, I'm probably the person who has like, the most extra materials in the world, and I was like, "Why are you carrying all this?" I'm like, "I don't know. I'm just born extra." In the words of Brad Mondo, "Live your extra life." <laughs> I think that's his name. I really don't know, but you remember this haul. You remember this mini thingy haul where I just got like an excessive amount of everything. So I also bought these. So yeah. Uh, hi. Just, just stay there. <laughs> Whatever, you kind of just fell off. But I usually keep these, honestly, in here. But I think this year it's going to be indifferent, so we are going to actually stuff you in here. But I kind of don't want to lose you. Wait, will this fit in here? No, it won't. Will it fit like that? Okay, so actually, plot twist! We're going to put it in here, like this. Haha, ha. so now it's like a messy area, but that's okay because sometimes messy is acceptable as long as it's like not with your grades. You can't have messy grades. Is messy grades even a thing? I honestly don't know. <laughs> now I have to stuff mesh these two together. Like mesh them like magic. Mesh them like magic. Honestly, this will be magical if it closes because of how much and how stuffed. I essentially stuffed it and it's not closing so what did I say <gasps> wait I think magic I think real life magic is about to happen <gasps> oh my god magic happened so I just set up my pencil case I'm so glad you guys I got to do this with you guys I love you guys like subscribe to see more videos um it's a new school year so I'll definitely have more cons put out today with you during the summertime besides for doing my summer homework like <gasps> what am I gonna put out so I kind of feel bad, but I took a break during the summer, and I don't know that'll be, like, constantly how I do it. I might, like, do it during the school year and take a break during the summer, which is not usually what most double tapers do. They, they study too much, do they? May, they mainly do the opposite. Like, what I think they do is, like, record everything that they want to do during the school year, and then they edit it and post it during the summertime because they're busy during the school year. I don't know, but I'm different! Ha, ha, ha. So that's how we're going to do things. But, um, simply studying. Oh, oh my god, I missed you guys. Bye.